Associated Packers Industry API is a packaging and distribution company that was established in 2007. It employs 37 persons. A fire suspected to be of electrical origin completely destroyed the building on Wednesday and the major warehouse for API. The owner, Mahendra Jaikaran, told the newsroom at the scene on Thursday that the fire was under control at first, but the Ghana Fire Service ran out of water, which led to the fire spreading rapidly. A building owned by the Singles Trading and everything inside was also destroyed in the fire. The fire started just after 1300 hours on Wednesday. When the fire started, I wasn't um, on the premises. I was away. Uh, I probably took about, from what I heard, around one thirty. I came around 2 o'clock. By, by the time I reached, I was up the bank. And the building was... Um, Engulfing smoke, but um, the fire, the two fire trucks had it, uh, the fire under control. Um, but the, I understand they had 450 gallons of water uh, in the tanks and they ran out of water and they attempted to get the um, water from the hydrants and there was no water in the hydrants and everything collapsed because there was no other truck coming and the fire after um, being calmed down by them for the first started and uh, from one building to the other and, and so on. I know it's a bit early but can you tell us the amount of loss suffered here for you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing here around 70 to 90 million dollars somewhere there around. Was the building insured or the business insured? The, the, the stocks was insured, the, the buildings were insured as well, but I'm not, um, I'm, I'm sure that the, we, we weren't insured for um, full value. Rebuilding process starts today. Okay. Um, uh, any idea what started the fire? I'm told by my staff it's electrical by the time I came back, but again, uh, too early to, to call on that. Um, I guess the fire service people, the investigators, can gotta determine what uh, fully, but I'm told that, that, that it's um, electrical by the staff. I'm not sure though. Firefighters were still trying to extinguish the fire on Thursday. An excavator was also being used to remove the debris from the building. The, the, the fire is still um, uh, in the warehouse, uh, bla blazing at this time. So we're probably um, 24 hours from when the fire started, but there is some on the, uh, what I would say, blaze. Um, on the rafters and so on. They're trying to control. We're digging with the excavators out to just get to the fire on the ground. Managing Director for API, Marissa Bujan, had told the newsroom that they were inside the building when a handyman raised an alarm and all of the employees managed to escape from the building unharmed. The Guyana Fire Service continues to investigate the cause of the fire. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.